Hello, Miss Steele here. So this week we are talking about balance. So we are going to create a kite in the sky using balance. Balance in art is whenever both sides of the artwork have the same amount of details. So that doesn't mean that they have to be the exact same, but there isn't one part of the artwork that has more details than another part. What we want for this project is one large piece of paper and then another piece of paper. This is going to be for our background. This is going to be for our kite. I'm going to be using markers as paints for my background. So I have an extra piece of paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the marker ink on here and then use a water cup and a paintbrush. Take the marker ink from here and put it on here. You also want a piece of, not a piece, you want a pencil, an eraser, some crowns. I'm using some markers to help me color in as well. I have washable markers to use them as paints. Scissors and glue. I'm going to move most of this stuff out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with our background. So what I want to do is I want to add in some clouds. And since I know I'm going to be painting my background using washable markers, I know that wherever I put down some wax, some crowns, some wax from crowns, um, the paint won't stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly draw in a few clouds using some bumpy lines where I would want some clouds to be. I'm drawing it in pencil because I'm going to be coloring it in using white. So I drew those in really, really lightly. I drew in some clouds going all the way down my paper. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my white crown and I am going to color in these cloud areas. I want my clouds to look fluffy. So what I'm doing is I'm coloring it in using kind of swirly lines. So I'm going to go through and fill in these pencil areas that I have. Obviously, it's going to be kind of hard to see because these are white crowns and we're using a white piece of paper for our background, which is why I drew it in pencil first lightly so I know where to add this in. And then what I'm doing is I'm just taking my crown and I'm just kind of swirling it to fill it in. So I'm not trying to make it look too perfect. I want it to have some texture to it. So I'm adding in some swirls. So I'm going to get my clouds colored in and then we will move on to our next step. All right, so I colored my clouds. If you have paints, you can paint in your background using blue. If you don't have any paints, you can just color in your background. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra piece of paper and then I'm going to take some blue markers that I have and you want your markers to be washable markers because that is what's going to make the ink transfer and what I'm doing is I'm coloring in a little square and I'm going over it a few times I'm adding a bunch of ink on top and what's happening is every time I color on top of this it's putting more ink from the marker onto this paper and then I'm going to take the ink from right here and put it over here so I'm going to do that with my other blue as well. And I just go over it three or four times, just adding on some more of that marker ink so it's easier to transfer it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my water cup and my brush. I'm going to dip it and swirl it in this marker ink. And then I'm going to use that to paint in my background. And if you see where I go on the clouds, it doesn't stick because this is water-based paints. And it won't stick to wax, which is what crowns are made of. So I'm going to go through and get my background all painted in. And then I'm going to find a safe spot to let it dry. So I'm going to get this painted in and then we will move on to our next step. All right, so I have my background all painted with all of that pretty marker ink blue. I'm gonna go find a safe place for this to dry, clean up my area, and then we're gonna start working on our kite that we're actually going to add on top of this. All right, so now we're gonna grab our other piece of paper and we're gonna turn this into our kite. 
Because we're talking about balance, we want both sides of our kite to be the same. To start, we're going to cut out our kite. So we're going to fold our paper in half, and we're going to do that the longer way. So I make for sure my corners are touching, and then I press it down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one line going from the corner to the side like that here at the top. So this is going to be the top part of a kite. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight line going down to the other corner. So I drew my first line going to the side like this, and then I connected the bottom to right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut on these lines to cut out the shape of my kite. And I'm going to cut it white, still folded. So then both sides will be the same. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to that line going up. And now whenever I open it, my kite will be the same on both sides. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit, just because I think it looks a little uneven. There we go. So now I have my kite shape. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to draw a straight line going down that fold line. And then I'm going to draw a straight line connecting both of these edges like that. Now what I can do is I can start designing my kite. If I put something on this side, I want to put it in the exact same spot on the other side. I think I'm going to do my kite with some purple to start. So I'm going to go over these pencil lines with this purple marker just so it's easier to see. I'm going to use my eraser and erase anywhere that my pencil lines might be hanging out. And now, like I said, anything I add on one side, I want to add on the other side. So I'm going to start designing and adding details, and I'm going to add it to both sides. So let's say I wanted to add a pink border, so I'm adding little bumps down the side for here at the top. I would do the same on the other side because I want this to be perfectly balanced. So I would do it on the other side. So any detail you choose to add to your kite on one side, you want to add it to the other side as well. So if I added one line on this side, I would add the same line on the other side. And like I said, how you design your kite is up to you. You just want to make for sure that it's the same on both sides. I think I want to add a smiley face right here. Like that. So I'm going to keep going through and designing my kite, and then I will check in. Alright, so I'm just finishing up my kite, just coloring this little bottom part. And I decided to do kind of more organic sort of designs. I didn't try to make it look like anything. I just kind of added in different shapes and colors that I liked. That being said, I tried to make them the exact same on both sides so it's evenly balanced. So if I put something on one side, of my kite, I then put it on the other side of my kite. I'm going to go grab my background and then we're going to get this put on our background and add our kite string and we will be good to go. Alright, so I have my background now, so now I can decide how I want my kite to go onto my paper. I could even do it kind of flying off my paper if I wanted to. So I think I'm going to put it over in this top corner. So I'm going to flip it around and add some glue to the back, remembering a dot is a lot, and glue, unfortunately, does not work like magic. It likes a little bit of help from us to help it really stick. So once I have some glue on my kite, I'm going to flip it over, decide where I want to put it, and then I'm going to squish it down. 
And now I can pick what color I want my kite string to be. And I think I'm going to have it be blue. No, let's not do blue because their background's blue. I think I'm going to have my kite string be purple instead. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the marker to add in my kite string. And just like that, our kites with balance are finished. I can't wait to see how your projects come out, and I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Bye.